Now, before I begin the video, I do want to mention that if you are interested in picking up this fragrance, you may do so at fragranceby.ca. There will be a link in the description section. They have a lot of really hard to find designer and niche fragrances for really good prices. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, Steven here from Rudd Essence, and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it, and I hope that this video finds you well. So here we have a fragrance by the company Burberry. This one came out in 2018. This one is simply entitled Her, or Burberry Her. I'm excited to give you my thoughts on this fragrance, and I'm also going to try to dispel some of the myths that this smells similar to Baccarat Rouge 540 by Maison Francis Kirkjohn, another fragrance made by the same exact perfumer. I'm gonna be giving you my thoughts real quick, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin my fragrance review of Burberry Her and let you know if I find this to be similar to Baccarat Rouge 540, and also if it does go in any other direction, I'll try to explain a little bit of that in this video as well. I do want to mention that if you are a fan of fragrance-related content, if you like fragrance reviews just like this, but also giveaways, top tens, unboxings, special guests, interviews, and pretty much anything having to do with fragrances, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. All you have to do is click on that red button in the corner, and of course, while you're at it, please make sure to enable notifications by clicking on the bell icon. This way, whenever I do put out these videos, they will get delivered straight to your feed. So here we have a 2018 release. This fragrance was composed by Francis Kirkjohn, who is a Takasago perfumer. I've had the pleasure and the opportunity of meeting him in person several times, and he's also made fragrances for the brand of which I am a creative director, Navitus Parfum. And so I definitely admire his work. I know he's a very accomplished perfumer, quite brilliant and excellent at what he does. And so here in 2018, he composed this fragrance, which a lot of people online say smells so similar to Baccarat Rouge 540, and I can definitely see the similarity. So you have the vanilla, you have the moss, you have that ambery quality in the base, you have the jasmine, and so it has a lot of similar notes in the note breakdown. However, I do find that this does go in its own direction. So it has the strawberry in the opening, it has the raspberry, it has this fruity cocktail that I think really distinguishes it and makes it set apart and different from Baccarat Rouge 540. In any case, I'm excited to talk to you about the smell in a little more detail, but let's go ahead and start things off with the presentation. So the box for this one looks like it's wrapped in this pink ribbon. It just has Burberry written all over it. The name of the fragrance here in the middle and Eau de Parfum is a concentration. I purchased this one from Macy's. On the bottom, you will see the serial number punched into the box and on the back, you will find all of the ingredients. Now the bottle for this one looks really nice. You have the atomizer located off to the side here with a pink cap. There is a sticker on the bottom with your information and the serial number is printed in black ink on top of the sticker. The cap for this fragrance clicks into place very securely so you can pick it up from the cap. And the distribution on the atomizer is really nice. It has a pressurized atomizer so you can control how much you want to spray. Let's continue with the smell. So as soon as this fragrance opens up, you are going to get a blast of fruits. And I think it's a very pleasant introduction. And it's one that's different from some of the other flankers that I have tried by this brand and of this particular line. So please do keep in mind that I am reviewing the original. I know there's also an intense version, a London dream version. There's a blossom version as well. I'm not going to be focusing on any of those throughout the course of this review, just the original. So it opens up very fruity. So you have the raspberry, you have the the strawberry and what I think that does it makes it a very youthful and playful sort of a fragrance and I think it also adds like this springtime and summertime cheer to the fragrance. Now, of course, you do have that underlying vanilla, which is also found in the original Baccarat Rouge. And I think that that also adds this playful yet sensual touch to the fragrance. And the florals that are in here are quite muted. I actually expected them to be a little bit stronger. And I know that the original Baccarat Rouge 540 has more of that jasmine note in there. This one doesn't have nearly as much jasmine as Baccarat Rouge does, to my nose at least, but it has a nice combination of the jasmine the violet and perhaps some other floral components that are not necessarily revealed 
in the note breakdown. And then of course, once you get to the bass, you have this ambery warmth, you have this mossy quality as well. And you also have like this vanilla sandalwood combination. And I think it's more of an emphasis on the vanilla, of course, because you do have that underlying sweetness that is one, immediately apparent as soon as you spray it on, but it also lingers and it lasts throughout the duration of the fragrance. And so I find this to be a really pleasant, youthful, sweet sort of a perfume for women. If you're a college student, maybe even in high school, I think you can definitely play this off uh, or pull this off rather. I think you will really enjoy Enjoy this one and I know that that DNA in general gives off a very youthful vibe as a matter of fact I have another fragrance here that has a similar DNA and it's by Bath and Body Works it's called in the stars I'm a teacher I have a lot of students who wear this and I smell it all the time and I would never even guess that they're wearing Baccarat Rouge because it's such an expensive perfume so I catch them and I say you're wearing Bath and Body Works right and they say yeah and I know there's also this fragrance Ariana Grande's Cloud, which is also very popular among a younger clientele. And I think it's the comparison and the similarity to those perfumes that leave me inclined to say that I find this one to be rather youthful smelling as well. And I feel like the strawberry and the raspberry also contribute to that. I know there's also black currant in here, but I don't see its presence too strong in this perfume. You have a lot of citrus components as well, the orange, the bergamot, but really it's about that strawberry and raspberry very fruity sweetness and I think it also paints like this pinkish reddish hue to the fragrance and I think that that's kind of matched by the look of the bottle as well all in all I think it's very nice it's youthful it's perfect for the hotter weather you can also wear this one indoors I think it comes across a little bit more playful than it does professional and so if you're looking for something to wear while you're dressed up I think that there are other options out there but if you're flirtatious if you're just trying to have fun or if you're casually running errands or maybe going to school I know the virtual landscape is a little bit different now because we're not teaching in person unless schools are following a hybrid schedule or anything like that but I know times are tough in any case this fragrance I think is awesome it does bear similarities to Baccarat Rouge 540 however I feel like it's a little bit more feminine a little more fruity not as sweet as Baccarat Rouge and the smell itself is not as iconic but nonetheless I do think that it's a pleasant smelling fragrance let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment now in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell I think this one is still unique despite the fact that it does bear some similarities to Baccarat Rouge 540 and of course it's the same exact perfumer so dealing with a similar range of ingredients if you will but this one is much more fruity and much more smooth and so Baccarat Rouge has that cotton candy sort of a texture to it this one substitutes that with uh, the fruity nuances that you have going on in the opening like the strawberry and the raspberry so I still do find it to be pretty unique the overall smell is very pleasant but I do find it to be a little bit on the youthful side in terms of the longevity you're gonna get about seven hours on your skin or at least that's what I got on my skin projection was great for the first hour and a half it started to sit a little bit closer to the skin at that five hour mark in terms of the versatility I think this one would really shine in the hotter weather and I think this one is a little bit more casual than it is a dressed up sort of a fragrance and I think this one is probably better suited for somebody who's a little bit younger as opposed for somebody or as opposed to somebody who's a little bit older or a little bit more mature as well in terms of the presentation I do like it I think the simplicity really speaks on this one is just called her right so there aren't too many bells and whistles and I think it's an iconic look to the bottle as well so my final verdict of this fragrance is I like it I think it's definitely something very youthful. Certainly it's not for me. It is marketed for women as well. But I think if you're a little bit older, a little bit more established, you probably want to wear something that carries forth with it a little bit more maturity as I find this one to be very youthful. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. That was my review of Burberry Her. If you own or have tried this fragrance or any of the flankers, please let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking on that red bell in the corner. I would really appreciate it. And of course, while you're at it, remember to enable notifications by clicking on the bell icon. This way, whenever I do put out these videos, they will get delivered straight to your feed. Thanks again for watching. I love you all, and we'll see you very soon. Bye.